With the availability of apps and the internet, the need for books is getting less and less, but there's still something nice about turning the pages, looking at the pictures, and the ease of using a book. Stay with us, and I'll share with you what books we refer to and keep on our bookshelf. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing. First we've got Van Life by Foster Huntington. If you're looking for some initial inspiration for van life, this is the book for you. It's not a technical book and won't help you with building out your van or the technicalities of living in a van, but it'll whet your appetite for spending time travelling in a van. It has interviews with lots of van lifers sharing their vans, their experiences and approaches to travel. There are loads of pictures of vans and it's divided into sections on types of van from the iconic VW buses to panel vans, school buses and overland lorries, with many others in between. Next, we've got How to Live in a Van and Travel by Mike Hudson of vandogtraveller.com. This is a great guide to things you might need to think about before spending time in a van. It's got loads of great guidance, things to remember, preparation and tips for an easier life on the road. It's not a detailed technical manual for building out a van, but it does talk about the key things you need to think about and decisions you may need to make on your van journey. With sections like selecting a van, where to park and stay for free, cooking, van safety, entertainment and technology, it's perfect for anyone considering fitting out a van or already travelling and looking for ways to make it easier. We also like The Little Book of Hugger by Mike Viking. Hugger or Hugger is primarily a Danish concept of creating intimacy, coziness of the soul and essentially a key to happiness. Sounds very hippie doesn't it? But in reality the ideas and suggestions in this book lend themselves to van life really well. The sections of the book looking at how lighting, furnishings, clothing, food, relationships and many other things can all contribute to a sense of hugger and it gives sensible and easy tips for ways you or your van could be more hugger. Which I think is something lots of us would appreciate. The Camper Stop Europe guide from Facile Media has been really useful for us. We like to split our stays between commercial sites, primarily for the kids, and wild or municipal stopovers. Although there are apps and we do use these, there are times when flicking through a book is easier and more fun. The layout and contents of this book lets you take a glance at the stopovers in your area and what they have, often there's a picture, and you can select a suitable one quickly and easily. It's supported by an app, but it's nice to have the paper version for a bit of browsing when forward planning. And finally, we'd never be without a good road atlas. Again, often replaced by apps, and we do love Google Maps, but we rarely plan our route or destinations in advance, and it's often a case of deciding day by day if we're going to stay or move and what direction we'll go. This lack of planning lets us think about what everyone wants to get out of our trip, so we have a selection of things to do that each of us enjoys. We review the weather, we flex our plans accordingly, and we're not tied by advanced bookings. So to do this as a family, we can sit down with a paper map and look at all the options of where we could go, how we could get there. It also gives the kids a bit of a concept of where we are, the countries that we're going through, and helps them with their geographic knowledge. So that's what's on our bookshelf. If you've got any books that you find essential, pop them in the comments. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button and you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips.